Hi, Air Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your monthlies for the month of May. Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Ten card spread we're doing here for uh, all the zodiac signs for the monthlies here. So let's get into this. Spirit, please show me what does the sign of Libra need to know after, or sorry paying attention to the cards uh what does uh Libra need to know for the month of may here 2022 i feel that there was a lot of closed off energy with the four of pentacles a lot of stagnation i feel that they had a hard time adjusting i just heard to this relationship i do feel that this is uh your energy okay the empress does represent the sign of taurus as well as the sign of libra I feel that you are ready to uh, receive this new cup of love here, okay, a restart of that, even give and take. Now, your counterpart was trying to balance their life, I feel, and, and by, by doing so, they didn't speak. They cut off communication because they were kind of battling. They took that time to put the work back into it to figure things out, to calm their energy, I feel. Nope. They do love you. Now, I feel that you could be dealing with a water sign here with the King of Cups, but it's a very closed off energy. Okay. So they did walk away, I feel, with that Eight of Pentacles. However, right after that is the Chariot. So they're heading towards movement again. There's a lot of regret here. Okay. For your counterpart, there's a lot of regret. Yeah, I also feel that when you hear from them, you're going to be a little overwhelmed here. Nine of Swords, yes, it's known as the Nightmare Stage, but it depends on the cards, the way that I pick up the energy from this. I feel that when you hear from them, it's going to be overpowering, you know, uh, tears of joy here. <coughs> Sorry. Give me an outcome, please, Spirit, for Sign of Libra. Oh, I just heard Strategizing. With that hermit, they do think about you. One more. Yep, 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 yep. Now, what's interesting with this Libra is that each major arcana represents a certain sign. You guys are the Libra here. So you hold the power in regards to your answer if you want to take them back or not. But I do feel that they have been manifesting, strategizing for this future in regards to their past. You know this person already. But I definitely feel that... You know, they're coming back to communicate, to make things right with you. And I do feel for some, not all, I feel that Nine of Swords literally looking at that Page of Swords is known for overwhelming energy in regards to kind of shocked energy. Could be dealing with a twin here, uh, even more so with that Empress energy. Moving on to the sign of, I believe it's Gemini. Gemini. As soon as I get my cards in order. <laughs> Gemini, what does Gemini need to know for the month of May? Somebody's making, I hear you. Somebody's making a decision to show the action here to explain themselves, I heard. Could be, they could have been dealing with a third party situation here with that Wheel of Fortune. It, you haven't heard from them in quite some time, okay? But I do feel that they are reflecting in regards to their actions. They've been battling here as to what to do. Now, there is two different, totally different energies here. You got the Page of Swords looking at that Seven of Swords. That's an explanation in regards to making a decision to show the action here. For some, it could have been a third party. For others, it's just the slowness of this relationship here. They've been battling. They could be mentally preparing themselves to kind of hear you out kind of energy meaning that they're ready but they do see that connection with the high priestess definitely this is a strong twin flame energy going on here uh yeah definitely took them took their sweet old time with the temperance here sagittarius energy you got aries here as well but really it's about no more waiting here it, it's kind of like oops they did it again kind of energy 
in regards to the slowness or possibly a third party, but no more waiting here. No more toxicity, no more getting in their head, no more uh, deceit here, meaning uh, whether that would be a third party situation or just the slowness, the guilt of things kind of stopping, halting, I just heard as well. So I feel that they want to take that next step with you with that four of wands energy yet again, twin flame, and communicate after cutoff of communication. Now, I also feel with this King of Swords blocking that, it's kind of like, I don't want you back, you know. Uh, so that is free will, free choice, whether or not you decide. But I do feel for some out there, you're going to give them a chance to start anew. But it could be a little bit of a stubborn energy to hear them out, depending on how badly they were sent to the doghouse for, you know. Uh, but definitely, and rightfully so, especially if there's a third party that you didn't know about, there's going to be definitely hurt feelings here for sure. But if you listen to them, hear them out, I do feel that you guys can make amends. But like I said, we all have free will, free choice as to what you want to do. That is your choice. That's never in the cards. So I hope that helps Gemini. Moving on to the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, please show me what does the sign of Aquarius need to know for the month of May. Putting the work back in in regards to uh, completion of love here. They're going to slowly but surely put that work in. They are coming back to do so. Now, I also fear, feel, here's another message, totally different energy. Somebody this month for the month of May is going to put work into their uh, home. Uh, this is what this tells me. It could cost you a little bit. Pentacles does represent money here. But you're willing to start projects around the home, I feel. Little here, little there, I feel. Not that There's nothing wrong with that, you know. Uh, but definitely, you know, so that way you don't get overwhelmed there, Aquarius. But I do feel for some it's going to be fixing up the house. Yeah, there's going to be times restrictions where you're tired or what have you, you know, where you're like, ah, I don't feel like doing it now. In regards to the, uh, you know, you could be cleaning as well. Just spring cleaning or, well, I'm still hoping for summer to come. <laughs> but who knows? We're still stuck in winter over here. Uh, but definitely I feel that, you know... It, you know, when you don't feel like it, don't push yourself, I feel. Just go with the flow energy here, Aquarius. All right. So let's refocus. What do they need to know? Yeah, somebody I feel is coming back to communicate to you after they were closed off in a relationship as well. They are now going to be putting in the work here into this. Ooh, nice, Aquarius. Hang on. Ooh, yummy. Whoopsie. Sorry. <laughs> I feel that with this Queen of Cups, now you could be dealing with water sign energy, but really she's highly intuitive. I feel that whomever this is meant for, you know they're coming back, chicka. <laughs> That's what that says. They're going to come back balanced. You could be dealing with an earth sign energy here as well. Yeah, you're going to have to hear them out, okay? Uh, definitely, all right? And and vice versa as well. They, they are going to... Uh, really need to explain themselves with the strength card here. You could be dealing with Leo energy as well. A lot of different signs going on here. They've been strategizing, playing it out in their head. How cute is that? Yep, sun for your outcome for the month of May. They've made a decision to clear up the hot mess is what I just heard. Showing that action, they know that they're in for it, you know, in regards to straighten everything out here. But I do feel that they are on a mission. You see the baby. Babies in tarot is a new beginning here. Well, in life, too. Let's take the, I did actually six cards, or sort of, kind of. No, I clarified that one. Okay, here we go. Work on work here. So definitely I'm feeling for some out there. In regards to Aquarius, for the month of May, you're really going to kind of dedicate yourself to putting work back into your home life, whether that be kind of like a big spring cleaning project for your home or actual work. Like me, I'm doing that right now. I'm going around fixing things throughout the house. But also, in regards to love here, getting that completion of love here with that Ten of Cups right after this, you know, these two cards added together, last time I checked, that was 11 here. So definitely feeling that divine energy kicking on in. You will know when they are going to be returning, I feel. There's still love for this person, I feel, definitely. And there's going to be work being put in. Yet again, they're going to touch the water basically with their toes. They're showing me, you know how when you 
when you see a pool and you're like, oh, I don't know if that's really cold, if it's warm enough for me, I'm going to dip my toes in. They're going to dip their toes in to see your reaction, okay? They're going to put that work in, but they will be balanced. They feel a little bit of nervous energy. Yep, definitely. Having that strength to speak again uh, in regards to this relationship, because while they are <laughs> staying quiet and rehearsing in their mind, I feel they're manifesting their future actions to get you back. And that's what I have for not just Aquarius, but for all the air signs out there for the month of May. I hope this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You guys rock. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.